Hey guys, so I just finished recording that taco recipe and here behind, this is actually my studio. Small apartment, very expensive in New Jersey, but that's my iguana in the background. She's basking. My beast. Hopefully you guys like my taco recipe. I absolutely love the cilantro with the tomatoes and lime juice and all that on a taco. And it totally beats the Taco Bell. Because this is fresh and just the taste and the smell is absolutely amazing. You guys definitely have to try it. Really. Okay? So... I will see you at the end of this. Bye. Hey guys, I'm working on a quick recipe here. This is chicken thighs. What I did is I seasoned it with one package of sasson and Italian seasoning. That's it. No oil on the pan, always skin side down and look at all the oil that I released. And we're gonna cook the chicken thigh right in that same oil until it's fully cooked and we'll come back. All right, so here we have our chicken cooking. It's at a stick. We're gonna flip it now. Get the nice crunchy skin. Now we're gonna lower the heat down to about anywhere between a two and a four now we have to cook the inside at the last minute once the other other side is done we're gonna flip the chicken again put it on high heat and crisp up the chicken skin again and then it's done you see how much oil I released you don't need to fry or uh, fry chicken chicken when it has skin or fat it releases its own oil All right, so I made like a salsa kind of thing to put in my tacos today. But right now I'm going to make burritos for my job tomorrow. I have purchased cilantro today. These were cheap at my supermarket. They were a dollar. They were on sale. Whole bunch. So I bought two. What I do here is to keep it fresh in the refrigerator, I fill up a Tupperware. Just a plastic Tupperware with some cold water. We're going to submerge the roots in there. Just like that. And we are going to create a greenhouse for it. This is how you store your cilantro in the refrigerator. If you don't do this, your cilantro is going to die very quickly. This lasts me for weeks. This acts like a greenhouse. Then I just try to zip it up on the side. And I store it in the refrigerator just like that. Oh, I can eat cilantro raw. <laughs> so I'll keep these little pieces that fell off. Now here's my sauce. It's not really a sauce, it's more like a, I don't know, garnish, I guess. We have some onions, tomatoes, cucumber, avocado, cilantro, and it has lemon juice in here. That's how you keep the avocados nice and fresh. And what I did is, I, when I made my tacos today, I put some chicken on it, some of this, a little bit of lettuce, and some cheese right up on top. This is amazing. Just the smell alone is amazing. So I want to store that away. And I'm going to finish cooking the chicken. Once I finish chopping that up, we're going to make the burritos. Very quickly, I started my germination process for the spring, because spring is also coming soon. Here I have basil, 
just your large leaf Genovese basil I have oregano rosemary and thyme five herbs I'm gonna plant them this year you see how they're coming out already now what I do is when this grows very largely in my pots I cut them I also pick them off I dry them out and that's how I have seasoning for the rest of the year oh so amazing just wanted to show you guys very quickly all right so it's been about 25 minutes to half an hour we're now gonna flip it down skin side down again and we're gonna crank up the heat to a medium that about five minutes all right so here we have it it's been about maybe 30 minutes I want to set the stove off I'm gonna take it off you can see it's sizzling I have to clean my stove you see how it splatters all over Ugh, one thing I hate Now we're just going to let it rest here until it gets fully cold because I have to chop it up and I have to make burritos for work tomorrow. I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to store some for Jose so when he comes home he has some food. So here we have it. We have some tacos. I was going to make burritos like I said before for my job but I'm hungry. So, this is what we're settling with. My chicken thighs, they're cut up into strips. This is green leaf lettuce. Some shredded. I buy the block of cheddar cheese, so I shred it myself. This is some shredded cheese. Here I have some hot sauce. Homemade hot sauce. Slice of lemon just for an extra squeeze on there and this is what I oh I love this oh my god this is like my go-to it's like I said before onions tomatoes cilantro lemon juice I have avocado in there little slices of avocado they will not turn brown if you put the lemon juice in there and it will last in the refrigerator for about two or three days. Uh, I already said cucumbers, onions, cilantro, tomatoes. Yes. Oh, this is... I forgot red peppers, actually. Red peppers and green peppers, I usually put that in there. Or jalapeno peppers. Amazing! Literally Amazing. So I'm going to sort my tacos. I'll just put like a couple slices on there. Just want to show you real quick how I assemble my taco. Yes, I'm using my fingers. You know why? Because it's my food. That's why. And I'm holding the camera on the other hand because I'm not using my stand right now. Then I do some lettuce, some cheese.
squeeze the lemon and some hot sauce. This is so way better than Taco Bell. Look at this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you go to Taco Bell and you eat this, they put the meat at the bottom, which I hate that meat. And I hate chili powder. It always falls apart. And look at that. Meat still in there. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And the lemon juice. I love lemon juice. It's delicious. Sweet chicken. You don't need a lot to make a good recipe. I love vegetables, so I use a lot of it. Mm. And that, guys, is my tacos. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys that when you buy these at the store you can actually make them your own or they sell them like um they sell them in a bag also so you can put them in the oven and just twist them underneath like this and put them on the rack and they take their shape it's very simple I actually bought these Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Totally delicious. Nice, simple, and it's not like overbearing where you get like so bloated. I love it. I have to learn how to make this though. This is hot sauce. I make my own hot sauce. I have a recipe for it. It's on my YouTube channel, but this one is like totally different. Jose got this from the Colombian place. This is really good. It's not bad. You guys can see the crispiness on the chicken. See? The skin still. What I love the most is the salad and this, that, right there, because of the cilantro and the onions and the tomatoes and the avocado and the lemon juice. It is just, ah, uh, to die for. For me, it is to die for. So, you guys already saw what my, this is so way better than Taco Bell. Come on, seriously. I've been craving tacos for a while, so I told my hubby, and this is what I came up with. He won't eat this, because he doesn't like the cilantro, he doesn't like none of that stuff, but he got a whole new other dish. But this is what I did for myself. Mmm. Delicious.